Hi, today's tutorial is about first queue, which essentially is that if you are working with next generation sequencing data, it's very important that you check your first QC files, especially first queue files using different softwares that do you, what's the quality of the data, especially raw data and how good it's been generated and um, do you need any sort of kind of a trimming or something else before proceeding to generate the analysis files it's very important specifically checking that how efficiently the machines where you have run it have effectively worked to generate the your desired quality controlled sequencing raw files and the reliability of the data depends on this quality control so the in today's tutorial i'll be elaborating telling you that's how to proceed with this to begin with there are many softwares out of the market one of the major is first QC. So you write the first QC and you go. This is first released by the Babraham Institute that's in UK associated with Cambridge University. So when you visit this website, you can see that they require the Java within your computer uh, to run this software. You can download it if you have a Windows system and if you want uh, you can uh, if you are using like a Ubuntu system from like me so you can use uh, uh, that one on your Ubuntu system when was it first released and to get it real application why it's uh, good or bad you can go all the information throughout these publications beginning from 2005 until the 2003 is where the first Q file uh, first Q scene was used over the time and how it was used and the importance of it and the publications when it was first initiated what is their um, realistic like uh, details elaborate details of that you can go to get details about it you can go to the copy of the first QC in here you can look at the introduction basic operations analysis modules each of them in details and it's a kind of it very organized tutorial and I admit that they did a very good job and if you need like um, the code uh, or the github code about it so uh, these are the contact people in Bagraham Institute where if you have an issue you can contact with them consultancy active projects in Bagraham Institute but that's not something that we want to go right now our major interest today is this so uh, if you want to like uh, go through their github code so simply things that you need to do is like just um, Oh, they have a video tutorial if you want to use probably I haven't seen it so I don't know much so uh, or when updated let me check it out in here so it was uploaded 13 years ago and there are a lot of changes done in that time so I would appreciate that if you go through the video and understand uh, first QC can be used from BAM files, SAM file, and first Q files. Like if you have the um, sequencing first Q files and you generate BAM files from there um, or SAM files, you can import that and check out the quality. If you want to go through the code, simply just do first QC and then GitHub. Go in there. Uh, you'll see the details in here they have 
but this refers to the same page where it came from so ultimately but if you have, have details knowledge on the things the maps and other things to help you you can definitely go in there this is one of the popular things so either way let's go back in here now the first question is that if you go to the download what do you download first qc for linux g files so you can download and then install it or for windows you can directly download as a software the question is that in the linux system how do you do it do you already have the have it installed in our system i do check it out um, and to see that's uh, if it's uh, installed or not let's go to our home directory first so to go to the our home directory right yes so we go into our directory and then let's check if this is already installed in our directory we type version first qc and there is nothing like version because if the version was available it would have been visible in here so we don't have it actually in here so it says there is an instruction in here if you see the sudo apt install first qc so there is no package in here but simply as a standard uh, ubuntu system you can just uh, copy it paste it in here and just get it so give your password it will keep installing and it's done so let's now if it's installed or not we check it let's do the first qc version so we have a version of first qc now to the next step what we will do we just type first qc and click on this so this beautiful screen pop up this is screen talks about different things and one of them is first you see high throughput sequencing given the bar version number babraham institute and the people's address so what you need you don't need to do many complex thing in here honestly you can trust me on this a simple way if you need help you can go and read about it or simply you can type on this open then you can go to your folder where you have the first QC files. For example, you have this. So you click on this. Done. It will automatically start the analysis. Now, what is saying this is starting analysis? It depends on the size of your files. So if its file is like uh, one file, I would say 5 GB run. So then it will take less time. If it's a 20 GB, then it will take more time so uh, the like if you did 20 million um, bulk array, 20 million read bulk array, see if you are running the file will be around 5 or 6 gb so uh, it will be uh, run very fast by that time it would have been finished but if you are running 100 gb you yeah, sorry 100 million then you will have uh, it will take some more time single cell and sig files are is really heavy also so that will also take some time so in the meantime this is processing so we are happy with this now let's go through that what uh the in the tutorial if you go you will see the quality of the like for each quality and different details of these sequences like what what do you mean and uh, what do you understand from there here uh, this is a very good tutorial they have developed. I would suggest you to go through this. There are two of these in here. There is one is good sequence for data, and another is bad sequence data. So, to you need to actually compare in between good sequence data and bad sequence data, and we need to see that how we after the sequencing analysis is done, we need to understand that how we can actually make some comment on this. That's our sequencing is good or bad so let me just put side them side by side so you can see in here so this one is the basic statistics and percentage of gc you can look at in here the percentage of gc and the total pages total sequences everything in their basic statistics basic statistics the second part of it is in, in here, where you look at the per base sequence quality. 
So if you go, this is a good sequence, right? And this one is not. So when you compare this pervasive sequence quality of the good one and versus the bad sequence quality one, you can see that the differences in between the sequence read. So actually the first thing that would be in here to notice is that what is this actually the par base sequence uh, uh, base sequence quality means. So it's actually reports that it actually reports that uh, let me just get it more into this probably a little bit lag from this side the screen I'm not sure it's accommodating it fine but let me try okay that's most of it is accommodated probably or now it's accommodated okay so if we want to look at and um, of this like what it, what what do we understand by parway sequence and the first thing that's uh, the first parway sequence is a kind of a quality score distribution uh, um, across each base position in the read so what actually means that's it if it if it's a it's a highly variable at the end so the quality score get de uh, degraded means it's if it's a dropping decrease in the base cell accuracy on these positions like this ones in here so the next one we have is partile sequence quality so the what does it means the partile sequence quality means that so it's like if you the flow cells you are using if that has some issue then it will create this sort of uh, partile uh, quality variability which actually ruins our overall quality and the next one is per sequence quality score so we go to like per sequence quality score and as you can see the there is a per sequence quality is like a mean uh, quality score per um, read or uh, if it's a biased in here so average quality score is kind of a save good in here but there is a variability hint which is not uh, actually impressive but you can run with this the next thing we have is um, the per base sequence content so sequence content in there what we understand in like assess the base proportion of ATGC in each positions and we expect that if there is a no contamination or library prep issue then it would be something like this but unfortunately there are certain issues so it looks like this then we go into the GC content so okay so if there is a biased GC content in there, then there will be biasness in terms of their expression. You, you see in here, there is a synchronization, theoretical distribution and GC content per read, but in here we don't have it. So this is one of the another parameter. And per base and content uh, with uh, something that's, um, that's ambiguous and beiges in read, uh, which kind of indicate the poor quality in here. You can see the poor quality scores in here. So another thing in here is the sequence length distributions, which is like a fragment sizes or abnormal distributions, which is looks fine in both of them. Now sequence duplication level, this is one of the important one. So sequence duplication level specifically indicates that where um, if there is any high duplication uh, anywhere. So you can see there is a certain amount in here which is not good, but in here it's kind of a more smooth. So overall represented sequences, if you are going in here, you see this is no overall represented sequences. In here it's pretty bad, possible source, no heat or something. This is very important. And then the last of all is that adapter content so adapter content issue is really rise when there is issue with the library prep efficiency 
you can see there is no issue in here but in here there is a, a certain issue in here but this okay it could be highly variable these are the basics in here and you can always read more details about the in this content they have a well documented everything so now let's go back so we came in here and we look at okay the, what is the percentage of this sequencing is uh, the quality is correct and it's 90 percent done so that's good and it will be soon done 100 percent so i hope this details in here will elaborately help you to understand like there's update in january also this year and this will really help you to go through uh, you know, any sort of sequencing uh, uh, sequencing reads and give you a quite a good view that's what's happening all over this place uh, specifically before going to use the cell ranger or high set or any other things so we went to one of the sample uh, first qc files and this is what generated so let's go through for the basis statistics based on the just we compared the good and bad quality the score so we look at this here for this contest 53 percent then we looked at because the hair read was really high probably 100 million so you can see at the end there is some sort of uh, discrepancy drop in there and at the very beginning but overall score is not that bad partile sequence there is few of them but sequence quality is good per base sequence content there is some discriminating discrimination at the very beginning but later on it's fine but sequence GC content has some variability in here and here, but overall it's not that bad. Per base, base and content is nothing, so it's absolutely fine. Sequence length distribution is quite good. Sequence duplication level, there are some in here. And when you go to the over representative sequences, there is nothing at all. And adapter content, there is a rise in here. When you, you have to remember, when you are doing a long sequencing like a hundred million read sequencing and then you see at the end of it you will see some adapters so like this so you can trim using latimometric or other tool or you can uh, adapt your procedure based on your interest so we can do another thing you can just easily save it for example in here um, and and you open it From your PC, okay. This is in here. So, if you come to your folder, I'll see. This was probably saved. Yeah, look, for one seventeen. So you open it, you get a folder like this, and it contains elaborate details of everything that's been analyzed in here. So. If you want to data find, you can just open it from plain text. This will be something like this. If you have issue with like GC content, poor quality sequence flagged as poor quality is zero. And you can open these files. Like the one that we have analyzed, you can go each of them. This is a HTML file, so you can check it out from there. You can go to the summary tags, which is saying that which one is passed, which one is failing there. And more importantly, you can go to the images and you check each of them individually, export them, share them with everyone. And then you decide how you want to proceed with this in future. So I hope this really helped you at some extent to understand at the beginning stage uh, how you want to proceed with your own data and this will really enrich your knowledge based on the first first few sequence it's not like just looking at the final figure of the analysis you have to understand every bit of it to be a complete bioinformation i hope this helps and um, and you are welcome to follow our YouTube channel. I don't know which one is it. Okay, this is our YouTube channel. And uh, we'll be adding up all these videos in here. Anytime you want, you can come visit and we can uh, go after this with the time and just shoot any question if you have. Thank you.